A Chicago woman's new set of teeth should have left her smiling, but instead she is mouthing off to the Morning Insiders about an $11,000 bill that she feels that she is owed from her dentist's office. CBS 2's Lauren Victory explains this insurance mix-up. I expect to live another 30 years, so for those 30 years I'd like to have a more magnificent smile. <laughs> Sheila Tucker's very proud of her teeth, despite all the x-rays, exams, and 11 replacements needed. I was willing to go the extra mile to get a nice, bright, white smile, see? That extra mile meant handing over $11,000 up front to Dental Dream Team on 87th. They granted her wish for new pearly whites in August 2021 and sent in a dental insurance claim on her behalf. Six months went by with no reimbursement check, so she inquired with her provider. They had no claim. Then I had to do a deep dive with my dentist to find out why don't they have a claim. Turns out Tucker's paperwork was sent to Humana. That's not her insurance provider and never has been. What the heck happened? That's what came out of my mouth. What the heck happened? A closer look at the incorrectly submitted claim shows even more mistakes. Tucker is not born in 1963, and the Texas address listed is nearly 900 miles away from her home in Chicago. Actually, I've never been to Texas, so that's wrong. Then her new claim to the correct insurance company, Emeritas, was denied. Plan pays zero because of time limit issues. The Emeritas website shows most claims must be submitted within 90 days of service, not several months later. Emeritas should have some compassion and understand that that was not my fault. So how did the insurance mix-up happen? We took our questions to the dentist. She told us off camera that her staff sent the initial claim to the address in Tucker's file. Why was it the wrong insurance information? The dentist doesn't know, but says they did everything they could to help Tucker fight for reimbursement, including filing an appeal on her behalf. That appeal <laughs> was also denied. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Well, Emeritus took a third look at Tucker's case when CBS 2 got involved. The insurance company wound up waiving its time limit requirement after buttoning up a few more details with the dentist's office. Now, Tucker's back to smiling because she says she's been promised a $1,500 check from Emeritus.